As they say, this is the most wonderful time of the year. For so many, we just celebrated with family, friends, others we love. For those of us with families, it's hard to express just how much fun it is to watch our children or, or maybe even our grandchildren open presents. If yours are like mine, before it was time, they picked them up, they gave them a little shake, they were trying to decipher what might be inside. And sometimes we even have to shoo them away because they've gotten too good at it. See, for Paul in Ephesians 3, 8 through 10, he had been given a great gift, salvation. Paul tells us that he had been given a special ministry to the Gentile, the non-Jewish people, to proclaim this mystery, the coming of Christ, his death, and his resurrection, that God had kept until the time was right. We certainly make a fuss over trying to find out what our Christmas presents are. But praise God that the greatest gift that has been given and will ever be given has been given to us and we no longer have to wonder where our hope is found. You don't have to go on an elaborate search. You don't even have to earn your way to getting this wonderful gift. It has been freely given. And for us, all that is required for you and for me is to place our faith and our trust in the finished work of Christ. And in that, God will transform our minds and our hearts to follow Him for the rest of our lives and eternity. So the question is, have you opened this incredible gift? It's certainly already been given to you through Jesus. You just need to dive into this blessing. And for those of us who have enjoyed this gift, don't forget just how good it is and how good He is. Change begins in you. The Change Begins in You is brought to you in part by Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville, Patrick Allen Companies, Mitchell Tire and Wrecker in Collinsville, Mountie Cabinetry, and Parker Marketing Insurance Advisors.